scientists have found that albatrosses and large petrels forage vast distances away from their breeding colonies during the breeding and non-breeding seasons. Most are also highly migratory, travelling tens or even hundreds of thousands of kilometres every year. Whilst at sea, they use their acute sense of smell to detect prey over distances more than 30 kilometres, including fish, squid and crustaceans. These seabirds are natural scavengers attracted to dead or dying prey near the ocean's surface, as well as food made available by fisheries. But this poses a deadly threat. Many seabirds are killed or injured while scavenging during fishing operations. Longline vessels fish with lines that are over 100 kilometres long, with thousands of hooks. When the line is set, the birds dive down to grab the bait. Mostly, they pull off the bait and escape but sometimes they swallow the hook and are pulled under the surface and drowned as the line sinks. In trawl fisheries, seabirds are attracted to vessels as they feed on the unwanted fish and offal that are thrown overboard. Whilst trying to grab a free meal, they collide with the heavy cables that pull the trawl net, the warps, or other cables used for monitoring the net's position in the water, often killing or injuring the seabirds. Because of their extensive foraging ranges, albatrosses and large petrels are at potential risk from multiple fisheries across national and international waters, making it a challenge to monitor and mitigate these risks. However, there are solutions and working together it is possible to combat this threat. This is part of an animation series produced in a collaboration by British Antarctic Survey and BirdLife International, funded by the Darwin Plus Scheme and animated by Hannah Whitman.